What's up guys, my name's Luke and welcome back to Motion Sign. So I'm sorry that I missed the last like two weeks tutorials. I've been a little bit sick. Uh, I'm still sick, but I thought that it's been long enough. I need to just sit down and make a tutorial. So yeah, I've been racing around a bunch with Teo, just seeing like, kind of what it can do. And I've been pretty impressed with the, the quality of it. I mean, it's not like Houdini levels, but I mean, you're able to get some pretty decent results in like a few minutes, pretty much. So I saw this really cool tutorial uh, by Upon a Dream Studios. I was trying to learn how to do some like plants growing animations. And he has this incredible tutorial over here. It's really in depth. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are interested in Houdini, I would highly recommend checking this out. But it took an hour and it took me about two hours to do it. Seems that I'm just a little bit slow. I'm still learning Houdini. And this was cool at all. But I was wondering if we could get a similar result in Teo. And yeah, we were able to get something pretty similar. It's definitely not as good as Houdini would be but I mean we're able to make this in like probably 10 minutes and we can get it to be pretty decent so yeah I thought I'd just do a tutorial on it uh, if you guys are interested in the project files they'll be up on my Patreon I have two that are going to be put up now it's going to be this one the more colorful one and then I'll also be doing a more realistic one I'm going to do a separate video of that on Patreon kind of show you guys how to texture it and make it look a lot more realistic but for this one I'm going to keep it to this more abstract looking look um so yeah uh if you guys like this type of content please consider liking and subscribing and yeah also commenting it seems like that also helps the algorithm a lot uh so yeah but let's get into this so let's go and grab our tail so we're going to be using tail plants for pretty much the entirety of this video there's a bunch of other ones over here like uh tail tree and tail flower i do have uh some tutorials planned i did this really cool like tree growing animation that I, sure I thought I would show you guys, um, so that'll probably come like next week. And also a flower one, which I thought was pretty cool. But yeah, that'll come in like a week or two. So yeah, subscribe and keep an eye out. But let's go and create our fur. So let's go and let's change the look of this trunk. So let's do something like this, uh, maybe like that's just changed to five centimeters and now look this is the basis of our stem over here let's maybe make it just a bit bigger and it's going to be make it a little bit bigger in the middle over here cool so i think that looks fine for now let's go over here to our modifiers let's add some furling let's just add some like curve to it you'll see what i mean with the angle over here and then if we change our bias it tells it where to start the turn so i think something like that should be perfect Cool. Let's also go over here and add some turbulence just to give it a little bit more of a organic look. We don't want this much, so let's bring down our strength. Let's also just bring down the size of our noise. Something like that I think should be perfect. It's a little bit wonky, but that's kind of what we want just to make it feel a little bit more realistic. Let's just decrease our fur a little bit like that. I think that looks good. Cool. So that's pretty much the basics for our stem. Let's go back over here and let's add a leaf. Let's go and change the size of our leaf. Something like that I think should be good. Let's just increase the size variation just so it has a little bit more of a organic look to it. Over here in our geometry, this is where we're going to make our leaves. So you can either do what I'm going to do and we're going to make everything sort of from scratch. But if you already have like a leaf, uh, yeah, like if you wanted to download something with like mega scans, all you need to do is change it from basic over here to custom. And now you can go over here and add in, I don't know, a tube, for instance. And now, look, we have a bunch of tubes as our leaves. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that, but just kind of show you guys that you can do that. Let's go back to basic and let's create our leaf. So. Let's do something like that. Nice. We have a pretty decent looking leaf. Let's just increase the number of segments. Something like that should be good. So let's bring the start just a little bit more and cool we have a leaf let's increase the length and maybe the width a little bit and now we have a bunch of leaves so you'll see that these are if we go over here our main and increase them you'll see what's happening is that they're getting distributed in this kind of like circular pattern we don't want it we want it to be kind of coming out of the sides so let's go to distribution and let's change the type to alternate You'll notice that now they face the wrong direction. We could solve this by just changing this to 90. And now look, we have a bunch of them. Let's go to our twist. Let's turn these a bit so they're kind of facing us. I think so like that is perfect. Let's just add a tiny bit of variation. 
little bit of angles that they're kind of facing upwards. I think that looks good. And then also just a little bit of variation. And then just a tiny bit over here. And with some variation. And cool. Now we have a pretty cool looking plant. So we don't want this one at the very top of here. So if we go to main, we can just turn off this leaf on the end. Let's increase the cult. It's got our distribution again. And let's change the way that it's distributed along our branch over here. Let's bring this down, something like that. Let's just make it a little bit even. So, something like that should be good. Let's go back to main. And what we want to do is, this is very uniform, but we want it to kind of like have a nice shape to it. So if we go to size over here, we can change the size. Just bring this a little bit closer. Yeah. Something like that. And nice. Look at that. In like what? Four minutes, we were able to create a pretty cool little fern. Let's go and make it a little bit better. Let's add some fold to it. So it kind of curves in the middle. Maybe a little bit more. Something like that. Let's also change the angle so it kind of faces downwards. And let's change our bias. Nice. Look at that. We have a really cool looking fern over here. And it's really easy to change things if we want more. Just do that. If we want to change the size, we can. Cool. I think that looks cool for now. Let's just do that scene. So we're getting some intersections over there. And nice. Okay, so we got the basics of our fern. Now we want to animate it. So you'll notice that there's a growth tab over here. And you can animate these on. Look at that. And we can grow everything together. So we could just go over here, set a keyframe and a keyframe, go back and just animate this like this. And now look, ah, we have a growing plant, but that doesn't look very realistic. I mean, maybe this is all you need, but we want to go a little bit more in depth. So let's delete these below and let's go back to our plant layers. Let's turn off our leaf for now so we can kind of focus on just our branch over here. Let's animate our furling. So let's change this to about 180. And let's set a keyframe over here. Uh, yeah, just on the angle should be good. Let's go to the beginning and do that. And we're at 70. And then over here, let's go to like 80. So now we're going to unfold. Nice. And then I'm just adding this a little bit at the end here because if it unfolds, kind of like gravity would pull it back down. So it has a little bit more of a natural look to it. And that is pretty cool. But we want it to be a little bit more advanced. We kind of want to have it that it has like a little spiral. We won't be able to get it as perfect as the Houdini tutorial, but we can get kind of close with it. So let's go over here and set a keyframe on our furling and our turbulence. Let's go front here and let's roll this up a bit. Cool. And let's just add some turbulence and that's just going to separate it for us. Now it unrolls and look at that. Isn't that super cool and really easy? And now we have the basics of our animation. Don't worry about the fact that there's uh, not enough subdivisions up here. If we just go over here, you'll see that there's subdivisions. And now look, our problem is solved. But for now, we're going to turn that off. Let's go back to our plant layers and let's go and sort out our leaves. So that doesn't look very cool, but we can make it way better. So let's go to maybe around 120. And what we could do is we could just grow these out. Um, actually, we, you could do that, but it doesn't look very nice. We kind of want them to grow on like that. So we can use fields. Before we do that, let's just turn on the variation right here. Just to add a little bit of variation. Makes it look a lot more natural. Cool. Let's go with our linear field over here. Let's go minus Y. Bring this down. And over here, let's bring this up. If there's a bunch of noise in the background, I do apologize. There's a bunch of kids playing outside. Uh, that's, yeah, hopefully it's not too annoying. Cool. Let's go over here and let's bring the stone. Something like that. And now let's see. Whoa, look at that. Super cool. We could just bring this back a little bit more. Back clearing. Yeah, okay, so like that looks fine. Let's add a little bit of subdivision, I mean thickness to it. Let's go with maybe 1.2. Set subdivisions to about 1. And now look, we have a growth animation. 
with some pretty realistic looking plants over here. Let's also go and add some forces. But we don't really want it too much on the leaves. Uh, you could have it on the leaves, but I don't really feel like we need it on the leaves. So I think something like this where it just grows out and it just has a little bit more kind of like bounce to it. That's perfect. Uh, obviously you can turn on the leaves and you can animate that a little bit, but I think for this, this is perfect. Also, you could go in and add a little bit more animation to this. Actually, hold on, before we move on, let's actually add a little bit more animation to it. So I realized that the way that the leaves are growing on, we could do it a little bit better. Let's animate these. Let's go back here. Let's pull these up and curl these inwards. Pull this back. Nice. That looks way better. Cool. Now we can move on to the texturing stage. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously you guys can spend a little bit more time and uh, make it a little bit more realistic, but I'll leave that up to you guys. Uh, or you can just use my project file. But yeah, for now, this should be good. Let's go and texture this. So let's go and add a redshift render view. If you do this on Octane, you can flow along. Don't worry. I mean, we're only using noise. Everything else should be kind of self-explanatory. Cool. Let's go and add some sun light. And then let's go and add a material. So we could material, I mean, add materials to this just by throwing it on. But then it's going to just make everything that same material. One thing that's really cool is that under each of these, it has a materials tag. So we can just throw our material in there and now it only applies it to the leaves. So let's go and make our leaves look good. Let's go and add a max or noise. Throw this into the color. Let's solo it. And I'm going to keep it on noise for now. And let's change this to point one at 500. And look at that. We get this really kind of cool looking shape, which I thought looked quite nice. Let's go into our colors over here and let's add some colors. So let's do like a like dark orange and a lighter orange. I think something like that should be good. Let's go and go subsurface, throw that color to the subsurface. And then let's increase our subsurface over here. We also want to turn the thin walled because leaves are very thin, so thin walled kind of makes sense. Cool, so this doesn't look like it looks cool, but just wait. Let's go and add a dome light and remove all of that. Let's go and add an area light over here. Just move this a little bit back, face it this way. And look, we get this very really nice glow coming through it. Cool. So at the moment, it's cool, but it's a little bit too reflective. So let's go back in here. Let's go max on again, max on noise. Let's grab a bump, a bump, blip, throw this in here. And let's choose something. Maybe make this like 0.5. Go to and bring this down to point one. You can obviously change up the type of noise that you're using. Uh, you can get a bunch of different results. I'd recommend just going through finding something that uh, suits you. I mean, this turbulence looks nice. I bet to make it like 0.5. Yeah, I think that looks quite nice. And now we have a pretty decent looking flower over here. So you can go and make a separate material for the trunk, but I think for now, I'm just going to use the same material. Let's just also add a little bit of roughness to this. You could add another, I mean, we could just drag this in here and have some roughness in certain places. Cool. So that's pretty much the basics of how I textured it. Um, I'm not going to go too much into how I lit the scene. I'll save that for Patreon. But yeah, that's pretty much the basics of the texturing. I would go in and just mess around with the subsurface scattering, mess around with the, the colors over here, and you could get some pretty decent looking results. Uh, yeah, we can notice that the more we increase it, the kind of brighter it becomes because it's allowing more light to come through. So yeah, just mess around with this for the more. Uh, I mean, could just do a basic lighting setup over here. So another thing that I'd recommend when doing this is that at the moment, this looks cool, 
but then <laughs> I love what I was about to end this tutorial, but let's just carry on a little bit more. <laughs> so we could take another material over here. Let's go and let's change our seed. Let's maybe change the colors a little bit. Let's make this a little bit darker. And maybe this also a little bit more saturated. And then change the seed over here. We could go back into our plants. And then we could drag another material. And then you see it's kind of distributed like that. So we could do another one. Let's change it a little bit more. Make this a little bit darker. Make this a little bit lighter. Throw it in. And now we have a bunch of variation and it looks pretty realistic. Cool. So yeah, I'd recommend just going in, spending a little bit more time with this, making it your own. But I mean, from what we've done, we've done a pretty cool growth animation with some pretty cool texturing over here. Uh, yeah, I'll, you'll notice in my original video, there was some like weird, like kind of overlapping uh, yeah, that's kind of all done inside of cinema, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna save that secret source for Patreon. But yeah, I think from then all this should be good enough. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And again, if you guys are interested in the project files, and if you're interested in the other tutorial, it'll be up on Patreon. But if not, I really hope you enjoyed this. And I'm really keen to see what you guys make. If you guys do make something, uh, yeah, tag me on Instagram or just, you know, show me on Instagram. I'd love to see. But yeah, until next week, I'll see you guys. Peace.